Hello, in this tutorial we are going to uh, explore Django file uploads and uh, we are going to explore some examples using just uh, the file system to save the, the files and handle the, the uploaded files and uh, also using model forms. But just before we jump into the, the code and to the examples, there's some very basic concepts on how uh, file uploads work with Django. So the first thing is that you always send the data using post request and then on the HTML form it's very important to include the proper encode type. So it's a common mistake to forget it and if you don't see the file that you sent to the server it's likely that you forgot to add this ink type property here as moot part slash form data. And uh, once you upload the files and submit it to the server, it's going to be available inside the request object, inside these files. Uh, files is a dictionary, and uh, the keys to this dictionary is going to be the name of the file input that you added to the HTML. So if the file input is named document, and then you just you should use this key on the files um, object to get the uploaded file. And then each of those files that we uh, get inside the dictionary are going to be uploaded file instance that are defined in the Django core. So we have here the documentation. We can call, for example, the read method or get uh, the name of the file, the size, the content type. So that's what we are going to use to handle uh, the files there. So first thing we want to do here is to create a basic example without model forms or anything, just handling it by, by hand so you can see the process. So maybe we can go to the project now and create a new view. Create a view name it upload. First, just rendering uh, to this upload.html template. Create it here. Extends base. Base is this document here. Is just a basic bootstrap for template. only one content block, name it content, and put something like upload.html. Okay, now we have the view, the template, just create a new path to slash or upload views not upload so here when we are accessing views dot upload is actually referencing to this view function here so let's see slash upload okay uh, first thing, let's add a um, simple form. So now, method post. Let's include the encode type. So we include also the cross site request forgery token. And then input type file and the name as document now just add a submit button let's see the result okay but right now we don't have any processing or anything uh, we can start adding here so if the request dot method is a post, 
we can get the uploaded file and then request.files we access the dictionary and then the name the name here the key is going to be this name here of, of the uh, HTML input and then before we move forward and save it we can see here so the uploaded file instance we can just print to the console the name and the size of the file so print loaded file dot name and the size okay let's try to upload some file here so here we see the uh, the file name and the size so next thing we want to do is to save in a directory here on the server but then we need to do some configurations before we do anything else so we need to set the media hood, the media URL, and then uh, add some extra settings here to serve those files in our local machine because actually Django is not supposed to serve uh, static files and media files, even though it can, but it's not very uh, efficient on doing so. So what we usually do is to set um, Apache or Nginx to serve those files. So by default Django is not uh, configured to serve those files. But so we don't need to set up a proper uh, server on our local machine. We can just use Django to serve it in the during the development. But first thing let's set the media hood and the media URL. So let's go to settings. So here is where we want Django to save the uploaded files. So this can be a um, relative path here using the, the same strategy that we use uh, with uh, the database file and the templates. Or if you want, you can also put like an absolute path, like temp, medium, Django, something like that. So, and then the median URL is how we are going to serve those files. I'm going to show you a little bit more about that very soon. Okay, so with the media hood, we can already save those files but then to serve we need to do one more step have here i'll share this link with uh, you guys on the description below and uh, we can add this to the setting the i mean the url.py so what is it doing so if the settings is in the debu debug mode, which is only during development, then we add this uh, special uh, view here that serves those media URLs, uh, the media content. So it's just for development purpose. You shouldn't use that in production. And then we need to import here settings and this uh, static URL. Okay, and then now to handle those files, we can use this uh, file system storage. It's better than opening the file using Python code and uh, saving it by hand. Django have a very reliable and very secure um, API. So we can use here this file storage class that we can uh, import to our view so let's do it now let 
is from Django dot files storage and then here we can create an an object and then we can call here to save this file we have a save method yeah so we should pass the name of the file and then the file itself file system dot save loaded file dot name and then just loaded file let's try it again Okay, uh, to check, we can go to the file explorer here, look at media. So here we have the file that we just uploaded. And the good thing about using uh, this file system storage is that if you upload uh, the same file again, with the same name, you don't have the risk of overriding the existing file because it already handles it for you. So if we upload again, we see here it appends some random uh, string to the end of the, the file name. So it's very convenient. And then here, if you we want to see this file uh, with Django, we can just put here media and then the name of the file. And then a very important note here is that this slash media is not related to this one. Uh, this name here is actually related to this media URL. This can be anything. For example, if I put the media URL as this so that means let's save here yeah so that means if this file here is going to be available in that URL okay so if we try to assess via media it doesn't exist so here you can see what Django is actually doing with this uh, code here. So it's appending the media URL as a last URL pattern here and serving the files that are inside this directory. We can also use the file system storage to generate a URL for us. So if we wanted to just display to the user um, what was the file and that he or she just uploaded and put a link here or something, we can grab the name of the file and then you, we can grab the URL by using the file system dot URL and then passing the file name that just created. We could use this here, should be the same name, but then if there was this scenario where the user uploaded a file with a duplicated name, so the file system will generate a new unique name for this file. So that's why we are assigning here a new variable and then using it to generate a, a full URL. So we can maybe first just print it here so we can see. So we have here the URL to this file. So we could do something like that. Context. And then and 
then we send this uh, context here to the template. So we check here. If URL loaded file then we can put something like that. Let's just resubmit the same form we have here. So you can see that it created a new uh, file name. Then we, if we click, yeah. And then here we can just uh, fix the media URL. So now we should upload the new one. Yeah. No. But then it's not very uh, efficient, especially if you need to display uh, those files here to the um, authenticated user or to the visitors or whatever. But then what we are going to do next is to use model forms to handle these uh, file uploads and store a reference in the database so we can list it and we can retrieve certain files. So this is just a brief introduction, we are going to build on top of that in the next tutorial.